Well, I think I think you're absolutely right that I think that this was very much an international fire. Um, uh, I think it had effects in in Great Britain, of course, uh, economic effects, and even in in terms of wood supply. But in terms of the fire itself, I mean, one of the most remarkable things that I discovered, or from I, th- I believe I discovered, was that in Montreal itself there were fires right around Montreal, and that late into the 19th century they were still referring to those fires right around. Uh, Montreal as the Miramichi fire. And it, it's because of time, because these were happening at, at the same time. But the fact of the matter is they may well have been connected because fires were burning all across that um, area, all across the Northeast uh, in October, 1825. I mean, the same day as the Miramichi fire in New Brunswick, Maine had its greatest forest fire ever. I mean, this was happening over a large area and i tried to be i tried not to spread the fire i tried not to pretend that it was everywhere in the world at this moment and 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 exaggerate the fire's influence but i also tried not to minimize it because so i tried to rely so much on um on sources from that very moment and in fact sean you asked me earlier about um you asked me earlier about legends and that, like I love some of the legends and stories that have grown up around the fire, but I didn't want to to mix those up in a way mm-hmm. with the primary sources from October 1825. So I wanted to make it clear when I was talking about sources from that time, and then occasionally talk about in a separate area of the book about um, about stories and legends that have come out afterwards.